Hi, I am Balaji Chipada and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In continuation of our algebra series, in this video, we will learn about ellipses, ellipsoid and how you can approximate ellipse into a circle. So without any delay, let's get started. So let's understand equation of ellipse. Those who have learned linear algebra in the standard of plus 1 and plus 2, they are already familiar with these equations but i just want to rephrase these topics once again so that it will be beneficial for you moving forward so let's understand what is an ellipse so let's say i have axes like this which is my x and y x and y i might even call it as x1 and x2 if you are approximating for n dimensions so this is just a two dimension and my ellipse would be looking something like this so if i have to draw ellipse clearly see this is called ellipse actually this is very different from circle but we will learn about what is ellipse and all that stuff in a given minute and then this is my origin 0 comma 0 and this length from origin to the y value is called b and we will call it as minor axis and this length is called a and we call it as a major axis and if this length is b and this length is also b and if the, this length is a this length is also a and let me tell you the equation of an ellipse we are not going to derive the equations we are just going to use the equations so it would be x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 if the center is at 0 comma 0 and if my center is at h comma k so my equation would be x minus h whole square by a square plus y minus k whole square by b square equal to 1 if my center is at h comma k hopefully this is clear and usually we don't deal with ellipses a lot but i am teaching you the concept of ellipse because you will appreciate the beauty of linear algebra so most probably in machine learning we will use planes we will use sometimes circles but we will not use much about ellipses but i am just teaching you for your reference and then uh, let me talk about the points actually that is the next thing right if a given point is whether lying inside the ellipse or outside the ellipse or on the ellipse just like the equation of a circle we have x square by a square plus y square by b square greater than 1 if this value is greater than 1 that means point lies outside and if I have to be even more concrete, if my given point is x1, y1 and I have to incorporate this x1 and y1. So if my x1 square by a1 a square plus y1 square by b square greater than 1, then my point lies outside of the ellipse. If my x1 square by a square plus y1 square by b square equal to 1, point lies on the ellipse, on ellipse. And then if my x1 square by a square and x y1 square by b square less than 1, then point lies inside. Clear? And if you look at this ellipse diagram, let's assume if my a equal to b equal to 1. Let's assume like this. In this scenario, my length of A and my length of B is different. But what happens if my A equal to B equal to 1? So let's add those values inside this equation. So let me take here. The scenario is if A equal to B equal to 1. Then my equation of ellipse would become x square plus y square equal to 1. So what is this equation? This is like equation of circle at center 0 comma 0 and radius equal to 1 so this would look something like this so this is my center 0 comma 0 and this is my circle and the radius is 1 a is equal to 1 and b equal to 1 and it is x and it is y so if my 
a and b values or minor axis and major axis values are equal then my equation of ellipse would become equation of a circle hopefully that is clear now that we have learned about equation of a ellipse in 2d we will generalize it in 3d so let's talk about 3d and then we will also generalize it in hyper dimensions as well so in 3d we will call it as ellipsoid now the equation would be uh, let me get the axis first so this is my first axis second axis so this is x1 x2 and x3 my ellipse would look something like this passing through all of these axes and this would be my ellipsoid actually not ellipse and we have the values as a b and c so one is value b this one is value a and this one is value c so my equation would become x square by x1 square by a square plus x2 square by b square plus x3 square by c square equal to 1 so this would be my equation of ellipsoid in three dimensions and same follows like this if this value is greater than 1 that means the point lies outside outside and if value is less than 1 inside and if value is equal to 1 on the ellipsoid so this is the generalization of ellipse in onto the 3d and if we have to talk about n dimensions then we would do let's take n dimensions and we have axis x1 x2 x3 up until xn and we have the corresponding a1 a2 a3 up until an so the my equation of an n dimension ellipse which is called as a hyper ellipsoid is ellipsoid is x1 square by a1 square plus x2 square by a2 square plus x3 square by a3 square up until xn square by a n square equal to 1 if my equation is passing through the origin if my center is at h1 comma h2 comma h3 up until hn then my equation would be x1 minus h1 whole square by a1 square plus x2 minus h2 whole square by a2 square plus x3 minus h3 whole square by a3 square up until xn minus hn whole square by a n square equal to 1 so this would be my equation of ellipsoid or hyper ellipsoid in case of n dimensions if my center is at this one so if we have to generalize this formula this would be sigma xi by ai square and square i equal to 1 to n equal to 1 so this would be my generalized equation for an ellipse if it is in 2d ellipsoid if it is in 3d and hyper ellipsoid if it is in nd given that my center is at origin and the same follows like this if this value sigma xi square by a i square i equal to 1 to n greater than 1 that means point outside and less than 1 inside and equal to 1 on the plane so these are all the general things that you need to learn about ellipsoid so let me rephrase what we have learned so far so first we have learned equation of an ellipse and what is a minor axis and what is a major axis and we have also seen the equation of an ellipse if the center is at different point and then we have seen the conditions in which point lies outside inside and on the ellipse and then we have seen the generalization of when a ellipse could become a circle with the radius one value and then we have seen ellipsoid of with three dimensions and then we have seen the basic conditions and then we have approximated all of that to an n dimension a hyper ellipsoid equation and we have seen all these conditions i know this is a little bit overwhelming to take all of this information if you are new to linear algebra but i just wanted to give you a lot of information before we start and deep dive onto the machine learning concepts because if you know all of these things like what is the separating plane how to calculate the distance of these points whether the point is on that inside or outside then it will become very easy for you to understand machine learning intuitively if you don't understand all of these things then you will treat machine learning as a black box and i don't want to teach machine learning like that so if you have any queries even if it is a small query or big query please let me know in the comment section below i will reply to each and every one of you and that's all for this video guys hopefully you learned something new from this video
please do subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified daily we will meet in the next video bye bye